welcome to Blake's Buzz, short educational videos for buyers and sellers, and today we're talking seller tips. What conveys with your house when you sell? That's a big question that I get from a lot of my sellers, and today we're going to discuss just a few common ones that come up all the time. So my tip to my sellers is that if it's screwed into the wall, then it stays with the house. If it's hung by a nail, then it can go with you, okay? So a common one that comes up a lot are mirrors. Um, if they are builder mirrors and they're glued to the wall or they are um, screwed into the wall, then they're gonna stay with the house. But if you've gone out and you've purchased pretty mirrors at a store and you've hung them up in your bathroom um, that kind of go with the decor and everything, then that is something that you can take with you. And I, I've had this happen to um, my buyers before that we've gone to the final walkthrough and the mirrors were gone. And, you know, I had to explain to her that, you know, those are those were personal properties and they went with, went with the seller. So make sure that um, when your agent comes in, that if that's not written in, that that's clear on the contract. So... Another question that I get asked all the time is about the TVs. Of course, your TV is your personal property and it's going to go with you. The big question that we have all the time is about the TV mount. So that goes either way. You know, most of the time people will leave the mount. It's usually, you know, the TV is usually mounted in a common place that most people are going to put their TV. But if you take your mount with you, then you're required as the seller to patch the holes and paint the wall and make sure that it looks like it, nothing was ever there. So that, that is a common question that I get asked all the time is about the TV mount. Most of the time people just leave them um, because they're in a common space. Refrigerators, stoves, microwave, microwaves, these are usually left by the seller. They're usually written into the contract by the buyer, um, but they don't have to be. You know, it's it's plugged in. It's not attached to the house. Now, if your refrigerator is built in with cabinetry built around it, then of course it's going to stay. But um, most of the time, it's um, written into the contract, but it does not have to stay. So that is something that if your if you don't want your refrigerator to go with your house, then your agent needs to make sure that it's not written into the contract because that's a common thing that buyers are going to ask for. Um, okay, so this, this has come up a few times. Um, someone has this gorgeous chandelier that's been passed down through their family or, you know, something that they bought and put up and they just love. My suggestion is to take it down before we take the pictures and before we list the property. Let's take that down. If you want that to come with you, let's take that down before we even put, put the property on the market and replace it with something from Lowe's that still looks good. But if it's something very important to you that you want to take with you, let's not even give people a chance to think that it's coming with the house because here's what happens. If a buyer thinks that they can't have it, then they're going to want it even more, even though we're going to say, you know, in the contract, well, the chandelier does not go with the house. It just gets too messy. Let's take that down before we even list it. Okay. Um, blinds are usually cut for the windows. They stay with the house. Your curtain, curtains and your curtain rods 